Hi, this is Carolyn Miller, and I'm coming to you again from Autumn Leaves Jewelry. My shop can be found on Etsy.com, and I wanted to I wanted to share with you the project that I'm working on. It's kind of an upgrade of a piece I've already made. It's um, listed on Etsy right now as um, uh, my sixes, sevens, and nines pendants. And by sixes, sevens, and nines, I mean sort of nonsensical. That nothing makes sense. It's Kind of like uh, I've tried to relate to like when you have those feelings of um, where your thoughts are racing or or you just wonder why can't I make the world stop spinning just for a minute so I can make sense of everything. But um, I also wanted it to be a piece that looks like looked like it was like found at the bottom of the ocean, sort of salt of the earth, and like maybe an old time piece, like a time clock. Um, an old clock that was found and there are no numbers on the front, they're on the side and there's really no watch face because um, it's all been washed away and like I said it doesn't make sense but maybe if you move the waves away um, you know and, and the salt away maybe maybe you'll figure it out but it, it really just is what it is and so that's that's kind of the meaning behind this piece and um, I just want to show you it's going to look like it's attached to a chain because it kind of is but I haven't soldered anything yet. And as you can see, I've flared open the edges of the bezel that I made to pop it out the other day. Here's the sides. It's a really, really chunky piece of green fluorite. So I wanted, when I, um, when I made this bezel for it, I, um, I chose to use really super thick silver. And then here is the top of the bezel. I was that I'd like to talk about because um, I've had a couple convos from people saying, you know, I really like that piece and, and they may have purchased it, but they said, you know, your your bail is going the wrong way. <laughs> Actually, it's going the right way. I, I intended for this to look like this, so it kind of had that old clock, old vacant look, you know. Um, so what I decided to do is, and I've already gone and done this, I've taken some really thick gauge silver and I've soldered on my bale. I haven't actually shaped the bale yet, but I'm going to do that later. Okay, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pop this back out as you can see. And you know, by any means, there's no diamond or anything like that. Um, I just fell in love with it at a gem show. And you know, if, if I'm drawn to something that, I, that I'd like to work with, I, I'm going to go for it, even if it's, you know, a whatever, uh, it's not, you know, a ruby, like I said, a ruby or a diamond. Um, if I find something beautiful in it, then I want to work around it. So that's that was the idea behind this. So the other thing I've done is I've gone ahead and I have taken 16 gauge wire and I have made oval, not round, but oval loops. And what I'm going to be doing today is, um, since I have the stone out and I can, because <laughs> it's not a diamond, so I had to remove it. I am going to go ahead and solder every single one of these little links because I really, really prefer um, handmade chains, something that will really complement the piece that I'm making. Um, I, there are so many beautiful chains out there that you know come out of the machine, that are cranked out of the machine. I mean, they're beautiful. Somebody designed them. Well, the designs go way back, but still, they're, they're gorgeous. Um, but it just it would take away from that handmade feel for this piece for me. Um, right now it's listed in my shop under 6s, 7s, and 9s, and it, there's a set price for it now, but um, after I get everything done with the chain and the, um, and the new bale and the clasp in the back, I'm going to raise the price, and I might even decide to keep it for myself because I really, really, really like it. Um, so I'm hoping to keep that old timey, old timey guy that looks so weird without the stone in it. Ooh, camera. Um, feel to it. Let me put this up next to it too so you can see it one more time. So hopefully the next time you see me, I will have a finished product. I'll go ahead and get to work and use my time to be creative. And um, I've got my, my pickle plugged in. It's been heating up so that I can use my torch and then I've um, I've also when my windows are open I don't know if you can hear the birdies I'm surprised not one of my cats has come in to say hello um, I am also gonna put two fans on because 
I really don't want to get sick from carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> and I have weird fears like that. So anyway, I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching.